Welcome back to another edition of Vikings Film Room, Southern California style, brought to you by the Vikings Entertainment Network. I'm your host, Pete Persich. Well, the Minnesota Vikings made a huge splash in free agency by bringing in former Green Bay Packers, Zadarius Smith. Tripped up and brought down, and there's Zadarius Smith again. Now, Zadarius will work our outside in this brand new base 3-4 type of a scheme, but let's take a look at Zadarius Smith and what he brings to the table. 26 sacks between 2019 and 2020. This guy can get after the quarterback, and he can also do it in ways that you may not expect. Now, one of the first things you're going to see is just the straight up outside pass rush that Darius Smith has. And you'll see him lined up on the left side of your screen. Really, this is a five man front. So they're given the image of a five man front. Now, as he gets off the football, you're going to see that he, he takes his time and gets head up with the defensive tackle or offensive tackle. And then just boom, gives him the hand sweep. Boom. Makes a huge play, forces the fumble. There's a big, powerful man, and when he's coming off the edge and hits the quarterback from the blind side, he can make a lot of things happen. Okay, against the Carolina Panthers, same kind of a situation. Lined up wide to your right. You see him at first just kind of bop and get in front of that tight end, and you like to do that sometimes. If you have a great receiving tight end, you want to slow him down. Once he gets into contact with the tackle, you'll see the guards working that way on the inside. He clubs, rips, gets underneath, and you watch him drop that shoulder, get the Teddy Bridgewater, and brings him down. So another great outside move by Zadarius Smith. All right, here it is, the classic bear front. You see Zadarius Smith on the outside. Again, directly at the tackle. He wants that tackle to sit, and when he gets right to him, the club with the left arm gets that right hand over the top, gets to the back of the lineman, stays in pursuit, and brings down Russell Wilson. So he has plenty of these outside moves. He can beat a tackle in your classic way. Uses the hands extremely well, especially when he's setting up the bull rush. All right, we'll give you an example here of the counter moves. Okay, here's an example of him coming underneath that defense, that offensive tackle. When Zedarius makes contact, he's almost head up. But once that arm gets fully extended, he lets him go and works his hands underneath, gets free, steps up, and then makes the sack. So. A great job there of transitioning from taking a guy down the middle, pushing him back, getting the offensive tackle on his heels, and then working himself underneath. So great job using his hands and great strength. Now this is the area where I think some people might be surprised. And he is a very, very good interior pass rusher. He takes his time getting off the ball. He wants that guard to set himself, to get his feet set. And then Pam takes him down the middle, extends those arms right here, two of them in the chest and dumps a 300 plus pound man on his rear end takes his bike gets all the way back to the quarterback and makes the sack that is the move the power rush move is the basis for everything else that he does but he does this power rush so well here we go against the chicago bears snap of the ball again gets himself upfield. he wants that guard to set himself up and he gets that right hand under the left shoulder of the guard and you can see him he has the power to push that is awesome. Directly over the top of the man in front of you. That's uh, completely demoralizing for an offensive lineman. Here he is lined up on the right side now. Standing up, four-man rush. Once that tackle settles and he can no longer push him, then he's able to transition to that second move. Get that hand, get that hand underneath. You can see him get to the back of this guard and then is wide open to get to Ryan. So. He's going to run you over, and if he can't, he's got the counter move to that. He'll get you to push, settle, and then work himself outside. So he's beating you with the power rush. He's beating you with the power rush and then the counter move. But the power rush gets offensive linemen to just settle. So you'll see him standing up once again, four-man rush on the outside. You'll see him get himself off the ball, and then once that guard, he's settling. He's getting ready for this guy to try to run him over just works himself underneath just uses the hands now that's a speed and finesse type of a pass rush he uses them both extremely well you can imagine if he and daniel hunter are on the same side of the field able to run games always pulling the center that way it also gives you some blitzing opportunities from the other side so just an amazing amount of things that you can do with an interior rusher on third down like Zedaria smith this example however is about how smart he is as a pass rusher and you're going to see him taking the guard down the middle, all right, marches the guard back into the quarterback's lap. The quarterback can actually feel this lane to his right side, but as soon as he notices it, he spins out, comes underneath, 
and then gets on to the sack. So that's just a great feel for the pocket, a great feel for where the quarterback is and where this pass rush needs to be. Zedarius Smith, as a base outside linebacker, can still rush the passer. It's that interior juice that he's going to add on the fourth down pass rush. He can play three technique. He can play outside a defensive end. It gives the Vikings defense a lot of versatility.